What's up guys, number 10 ranked UFC lightweight Grant Dawson here and today I'm going to show you what the real rankings for the top 15 in my weight class should be. I have reasons for every single one of these picks. I did not do this just randomly. I have reasons. So check this out. Uh, Islam Makhachev, obviously, um, hasn't lost in, in years, um, an, a phenomenal record. Uh, finishes a lot of guys and he has a stat that most people don't know about is a, I believe he is the only person to beat uh, two of the top pound for pound fighters on the pound for pound list and one of them is still ranked above him in Alexander Volkanovsky so the dude is the absolute goat in the division right now and people call him the unbeatable Russian and I see it man the dude is phenomenal number two Charles Oliveira uh, obviously, everybody that he's beaten, everybody that he, he got wins over Gaethje, Dustin, uh, Dariush, Chandler. <laughs> so when you when you have something like that, you got to put him in at number two. And I would say that he is the most dangerous lightweight in the division, including myself. He is the most dangerous. He finds ways to finish fights. I'm going to put Matoush Gamrot at number three. I don't think that he gets the credit that he deserves. He is currently has wins over two of the most avoided fighters in the UFC. Not in the division, in the UFC. Uh, he has a win over Armand Sarukian, and he has a win over Fazeev. Not only does he have wins over them, he called them out. He asked to fight them. I don't care how close the Sarukian fight is, and I don't care about the knee injury with uh, Fazeev. I think that out of this top 15 list you have to put him at number three in my opinion uh number four number four number four number four i gotta put armand sarukian uh absolutely fantastic fighter again he's probably the most avoided fighter in our division and uh definitely is is deserving of that of that position number five uh give me gaichi and the reason why I'm putting Gaethje at number five, uh, big win over Dustin Poirier, big win over uh, Fazeev. I, I think he's he's on a hot streak right now. The only reason I've I've ranked these guys that are above him because of the grappling. I think well, one Charles Oliveira has already beaten him, and the way that he beat him, I could see uh, Fazeev and I'm I'm, I'm sorry, um, Gamrot and Armand beating him the same way. So he, he's at number five. Number six, give me Dustin. Uh, Dustin Poirier, veteran of the game, wins over so many guys in the top 15, and, there, and there's so many people that I would love to see him compete against. Uh, absolutely fan favorite. Number seven, give me uh, Dariush. Dariush, absolutely phenomenal fighter. Uh, probably should have gotten a title shot, but because he's not a loud mouth, I think they kind of overlook him a little bit. And uh, he does have a win over Matoush Gamrot. Um, I'm not making excuses for, for Gamrot. I don't think that was the best Gamrot we've seen. I think if they fought again, I think I would take Gamrot in that fight. Uh, I think that Charles Oliveira is a better fighter. I think he's more dangerous. The, the problem is, he, here's what the issue was, is I don't think that... Um, Benil respected the power that Charles has because he got him down and he was winning the fight and instead of trying to keep him down like his life depended on it he led him back to his feet I mean I, I don't want to say let him but Charles got back to his feet and and was able to get that TKO I think if they fought again I think he should be a little bit smarter about it keep the takedown and and really fight to not have to strike with somebody like Charles so we're on eight Number eight, give me Moicano. This is going to be really hard for the viewers at home to kind of see Moicano. I train with him on a daily basis. He is probably one of the best grapplers and strikers that I have ever uh, trained with. Phenomenal fighter. And I think that he just hasn't had his breakthrough moment. And I'm going to be honest, I think, I think taking the fight against uh, Fazeev, getting caught is what's really held him back from from being out there in the fans' eyes. At number nine, give me myself. Number nine. Um, the reason I say number nine is because Dan Hooker is currently ranked number nine. He's coming off of a split decision win over Jalen Turner. 
I'm coming off of a unanimous decision win over Demiris Magulov. I think I should be ranked ahead of him. At number 10, give me Fazeev. Obviously, super incredible fighter. I do think that he is going, I think in the Gamrot fight, we saw that he's going to struggle a little bit with um, heavy grapplers. So I think most of the guys in front of him will beat him. I know he has a win over uh, Moicano. I understand that. I think if they fought again, Moicano would get the win. Number 11, give me Hooker. Obviously, Hooker, one of the best in the world. His only losses are to, to extremely good talent, so you got to put him there. Number 12, give me RDA. Uh, actually, take RDA out of there. We're not, we're not going to rank him because he's a 70-pounder. I don't care if they actually have him in the real rankings. He's a 70-pounder. Yeah. He said he's not going back to 55. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with him. Give me Matt Favola. Matt Favola currently has a win over Jalen Turner, um, and I think that he's probably the most underrated dude in the top fifteen. I think he's very very phenomenal. Uh, what are we on? Thirteen. Give me. Give me Jalen. Other than Charles Oliveira, I actually think that Jalen Turner is the most dangerous dude in our division. Um, the dude might not be the most technical, might not be the most skilled, but he is definitely the most dangerous outside of Charles. 14, give me Chandler. And obviously the reason why I've, I've ranked him so low is because he's one and uh, he's two and three or two and four in the UFC. I know he's lost a good competition, but if you look at his wins, it's a knockout win over Tony Ferguson and a knockout win over Dan Hooker. Um, I, I just can't place somebody that high that doesn't look like he can win a decision. If you can't win a decision, I don't think you deserve to get ranked high. And lastly, give me Bobby Green. Uh, I do think that Bobby Green is a very, very talented fighter. Arguably, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Arguably, I thought that he could have beaten Fazeev. I thought that fight was super close, super competitive, and he made Fazeev in striking look mortal. So... Uh, I don't think that Bobby Green gets the, the credit he deserves. I know he's a little bit older, but I don't think he's lost a step. The The only thing that I want to talk to you guys about is I'm doing this series on TikTok called How to Make It to the UFC Using Fight IQ. And I just, I talk to younger fighters about the mistakes that I made, the things that I did that I, looking back, really, really helped me that I didn't even realize was going to help me so much. So if you guys want to go check that out, um, I love this sport so much. I, I absolutely adore everything about this sport, and I want to see the sport grow. I want to see us get to an NFL level of pay, an NFL level of, of fans, an NFL level of everything in this sport. So anything that I can do to make more guys get to the UFC and be better fighters, I want to do. So go check that out on TikTok. I really appreciate it, guys.